Alright, what is up you beautiful people and welcome back to the Unarmored Synergy Brawl. <clears throat> We're playing some Artanis today. Let's get right to it boys. We're joined by Astra as well as Chloraz. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. We actually have a pretty balanced comp here in terms of um, what we can do as a team. I'll put down some Dragoons here for fire support. <clears throat> so, Brawl modifiers. We have synergies. We all smile at the same time. And we also have Discharge. So. <clears throat> Structures have no shields. Let's put that down here. Let's put that down here. Oh my god, let's put that down here. There we go. So we got that here. Um, let's see. I think Slendy wants to join. Unfortunately, I need to go to bed. <laughs> uh, let's see. Last one for the night. I need to go to bed after. The feel when you're a teacher, boys. You have to sleep early. XD. We got Phoenix, Phoenix, and Stukov. Okay, I'll probably want a, like some Archons and stuff. Oh God, Minx. Hmm. Hmm. Reavers. Hmm. I actually kind of want to do Reavers. Uh. Oh yeah. So last problem modifier I think was Stockpile. Just gives you a lot of money. Um. That's about it. I think. Yeah. That's about it. Synergy, obviously. You just can see it. We're all spawned at the same time. Astra powering through with the Marines. Let's go. Marines lending us a lot of firepower. I got some SMG boys to contest those Marines. Unfortunately, I think Marines are just a little too tanky. They have, they have uh, 10 more HP. There we go. Nova with the shotgun. Oh, a shotgun here would have been devastating. Just one shot all those guys. Like, instantaneously. Okay. Rushing. Reavers. Gotta save now. I think against Manx, uh, Reavers will kill most things he's got. Uh oh, we got Blend Master. Blend Master Inc. Blend Master Incoming. Blend Master. Oh god. Oh god. The Massacre. Alright, I gotta move these guys out to the side. Move them out to the side so they don't get killed by Blend Master. Uh, Astra's gotta fill her bunker. Um. I think Astra's still on tier 1. Yeah. There we go. Plague the munitions. Fire bats are doing great. We got tanks over here. I'm just sandbagging. I learned about... Oh, wait, wait, hold on. It's B and then W. Currently, I am killing nothing. Nice. Um, I've killed most structures. Oh, Chloride's with the tank? That is not sieged. I like it. Okay, Reavers are so million. What's wrong with your siege tank? It is a MBT, guys. There's nothing wrong with it. The main battle tank. Alright, got my first Riru. What, my MBT tanks? Yeah, man. Main battle tank. Tank. Uh... <clears throat> you don't have to seize your tanks, boys. These are just stronger marauders, you know? Uh, look at the Scarab housing. And then, there we go. Hey, just because you're a siege tank doesn't mean you have to siege, boys. Sometimes they can choose not to siege, you know? Um, oh, we're going to take some bunker damage here. But uh, our Reaver's coming through. I got Reaver killed those uh, those Warhounds there. The only thing is Reavers are tier 3. Not the same. Not nearly the same as Vanguards, which are tier 2. I wonder if Vanguards, if they were tier 3, they would be more balanced. But then literally Alarak would literally be garbage until he hits tier 3. Um, and the only thing that does is, like, delay the inevitable, I guess. I want to shield up the next wave, if possible. I don't think any of these remnants are going to survive here. Uh, actually, that one reaver might... No, oh, no, whatever. Survive for a little longer. Marines with the shield is going to be insane. They're basically zealots, but reverse. They have more shields than health. Okay, the reavers are killing off the bunkers basically instantly. Warhounds are, I think, the wrong choice to fight marines with. Just, you know, just thinking. Doing a thonk here. Uh, bunkers down. Ooh! Ooh, Blend Master! Oh, we got a Colossus here. Interesting, interesting. Well, I think Reavers are better than Colossi. Mostly because Colossi can get attacked by anti air air units as well. Where Reavers can't get attacked by anti air air units. Um, I think they have that plus on them. They can only be attacked by air to ground units. So let's see, Reaver, boom, 
Oh god, he's reloading. He's reloading. Oh, he's being healed by the medic though. Oh, hundo damage here. I just need to get as many reavers on the field first and then I will buy upgrades. Because once these reavers start coming in, oh my god, like the bunkers will start evaporating. Oh yeah. The fire bats I think are quite tanky, and so are Nova's Marauders being healed up by Astro's medics. Um there we go. Just gotta buy Reavers, boys. Oh. Oh, Reavers are so good, man. Like you see that little Baneling, that blue Baneling, the homing blue Baneling just fly in. The little orb of death. Phoenix being the front line is uh, I guess. Uh, hey, that's another Reaver. There we go, let's put down another Reaver here. Uh-oh, uh my Reaver's under attack. Our base is under attack. Our base is under attack. I should get some Phoenixes just to like aggro the Colossi for fun. I don't know. Nah, that's probably not worth it. Probably not worth it. Uh, we got our tanks in MBT mode. Oh my god. Reaver's just reloading. Nice meme. Ooh. Oh my god, there's so much AoE. Or so many units. Good thing we have AoE to keep up. I love Reavers for that. I'm just thinking about it. I think Artanis, one of the reasons why he's my favorite Protoss commander, I would actually say he's more, I actually like him more than the Alarak, I would say. Alarak has weaknesses and he has strengths. Um, I feel like Artanis can cover all his all of his bases by himself. Like, like you don't you don't get you don't get screwed by Mutalisk. You don't get screwed by big units because he's got counters to those as well. Um, I don't know. I, it doesn't. Maybe Artanis loses the air battle, like an air to air head on battle with say someone like Rainer. But you know what? He doesn't have to worry about Banshees because he can just use some high Archons and they'll snap their fingers and all the Banshees will implode. Um, so really if Rainer builds Vikings, those Vikings are landing into like Immortals or Reavers, which will make them very sad. Um, yeah, and then like he's pretty good into Manx too I would say, because Manx like, Manx can't take too much AoE, he just like blows up. Um, there we go, we got four Reavers, I think that's enough. Okay, so now let's see our contribution now. Now it's 34%. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's there. It's, it's basically even with everybody else, I'm, I'm assuming. Uh, we got the Duskwings coming here. Shock Division. Uh-oh. I might need to put down some Zealots for Frontline. Mm. Although Marines kind of counter Shock Division. Oh. Any more Reavers. We're running out of ammo. Gotta load up. Yeah, that's the only weakness of Reavers. If Reavers didn't have ammo, they would literally be the most broken unit in this game. I would think. The most broken ground unit in the game. Just because of their little homing AoE ball. The only bad thing about Reavers was that I think their homing AoE ball used to do like ridiculous amounts of AoE too. I think I remember killing a lot of my own guys with Reavers back in Brood War. I was like, what is this? And it gets stuck behind something and I move the guy and then it explodes on the other guy. And I'll be like, oh my god, it just killed my own guy. Why does it do that? Copium. Um, anyways. Oh, we got scouts. Interesting. Interesting. I'm gonna drop a shield here. I mean, Astra's got Vikings if it really comes down to it. I'm pretty sure Marines also counter scouts. Um. Uh, bow. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. Even Artanis is pretty good against scouts. Uh, an overseer sky theory. Wait, who has an overseer? Oh, Stukov. Um, I still haven't used my guardian shell yet. I don't want to put on my reavers because it doesn't go as far. The mileage. I'm probably gonna put it on like either. If I decide to buy a bunch of dragoons, I might put it on that. I don't know why this guy has a sky theory. Like it's ever gonna attack my reavers by itself. Um, oh, look at those bunkers, man. Just getting yeeted out of existence. The bunkers do ex absorb a lot of hits. Maybe I should. It'd probably be more ideal if I had some immortals and then some archons. Immortals and archons counter bunker together. But I think immortals and reavers just make bunkers unalive very quickly. And all these colossi are grouped together, so they're just gonna disappear real quick. Um, there we go. Main battle tank tank. There we go. Boom. I love my MBTT. Um, okay. I mean, he's got a lot of Colossi, so, you know, 
I'm expecting that there's gonna eventually be uh, some sort of Viking threat, I guess. Our tanks here. Hmm. Blow up my little candle here. Oh no! Ah! I hit my mouse with my candle. Okay. Anyways, um, there we go. I recently got a candle because apparently, um, what should I call it? Vanilla as a scent increases focus and productivity by some undefined percentage. It could be like plus 5% to focus, you know? Whatever. We take those. Um, and actually, I, I do want to say it does seem to have a calming effect. So, I guess, uh, yeah. I just wish I could quantify it, you know, like a game. Be like, vanilla candle level 4, plus 25% focus, minus 35% distraction. No, no, it'll be like uh, plus 5 more seconds to distraction, uh, distraction trigger time. Or something like that. Uh, anyways, looking at this situation, I think I need... I need something to join the Hellbats and charge forward. I think, uh, and that something is probably going to be a bunch of zealots. It must be done, boys. Uh, I need some. I need something to charge in front with the with the with the fire bats, um, because I feel like they are not. Um, front line is getting a little dicey here. What are the stats? Oh, my reavers are actually stacking up though. There we go. Builds two air units. Oh man. Enemy abandoned ship. Abandoned ship. Lamal, same. Yeah, the Reavers are doing work. Um, the Skyfreeze are just getting locked down permanently. They can't even transfer. Oh, okay. They landed there, I guess. Boom. Okay, I need I need a few more Reavers, though. We need more Reavers. Oh, Reavers are 630. Oh, the guy actually abandoned ship. Lamal. He actually abandoned ship. <laughs> abandoned ship. Oh my god. Battle cruiser gets attacked by a marine. Abandoned ship! Rip, my man got goals. Okay, so now we have Stukov and... and, uh... Manx, who is also just as vulnerable to this AoE. If not more. Like, Phoenix, you have to get Reavers to deal with him, because his legionaries are so damn thick. But they stack up so nice, so your Reavers will eat them alive. Now, Manx doesn't have a single shred of front line, so now with the reduced front line, uh, but Manx has doubled up Royal Guards, that could be hilarious. Uh, could also be horrendous, I don't know. He has a lot of Reavers, though, actually. Not Reavers, uh, uh, Warhounds. Sorry. Sorry. XD. Um, that's okay. It's just Warhounds. It's just a bunch of Sky Theories that'll get decimated by anti armor. Actually, their shields timed out, so they're actually totally useless. Uh, they're only kind of worth like anything because of their shields. Uh, not worth their weight in salt, boys. All right, we agree. See, even the mothership agrees. Okay, what's going on here? Stukov's wave is quite vulnerable. I, we have an Alex. We haven't answered for Alex, so it's not really that scary because we got our boy Rainer. Our boy Rainer. Let's level up our Scarabs one more time so we just like yeet hard and fast. Uh, oh my god, fire bats coming in here. Alright, bunkers are down. Warhounds are down. Oh my god, big lag. Oh jeez. Hmm. Oh, that one Reaver! Just getting rushed by all those, all those like broodlings. Oh my god. The Reaver Grenade is, is, is coming up there, boys. Almost 50% of team kills. I love Reavers, boys. Reaver AoE is like... It feels illegal. Um, there we go. Boom. Boom. By the way, you gotta press B and then W to get here. I never knew that existed. I never, ever knew that existed. Okay, let's see. Um... The Zealots are just gonna spin and draw aggro, which actually helps keep the fire bats alive, because the Zealots uh, go in deeper than the fire bats. <clears throat> That's like totally not an innuendo or anything. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna get some water. Yeah, we'll dehydrated. Uh, let's put that on a reaver here. I'm just gonna keep buying reavers until we win the game. Mm. 
Actually, I'm gonna eat some zelts. These uh, these tanks are gonna be a problem. Eh, unless we crack the line fast enough, and we just get right on top of them. Yep, we just get right on top of them. Uh, I think we're still getting right on top of them, so that's fine. Marauders are coming in. Uh, like, bunkers literally evaporate before they can even get into melee range. Oh my god, there's so many tanks. Okay, so I think I need to... I need to put down some more zealots. Uh, I'll put a little zealot box here. Or maybe I, I just need a continuous stream of zealots coming in. Get some Protoss shields here. Uh, do I need anything else? No. Who needs Trillet Compression Mesh? I only have two Dragoons anyways. Uh, hey. More Reavers. More Reavers. Actually, that's a lot of... That's a lot of anti-Reaver units that they have here. I'm actually a little a little scared. There's a lot of anti-Reaver tech. Uh, eh. Eh. Stukov's gonna run out of this, uh... Run out, he's gonna run out of that eventually, so... We've got him pushed up here, so... We should be able to slam him down. Uh, we have so many tanks here. Oh, we got Banshees. Okay, cool. Uh, we got some High Archons here. Get the Kedarn Amulet. There we go. Um, we'll drop a shield here. This wave is kind of already taking some damage, though, so I don't know. Eh, it's okay. The shield's gonna help us power through. Our front line's still chilling. Bunkers evaporating. Bunkers evaporating. Marines powering through. This might be it, boys. Come on, Reavers, go and smack them. Oh, wait, they both left? Bruh. Oh, no, no. One of the guys left. I guess the bases blew up. Nice. Absolutely obscene levels of damage here. Oh my god. It would not have been possible without Astra's the front lining. And I guess like Chloraz's mid lining, I guess. Yeah, Chloraz actually had pretty even damage taking damage dealt. Um, but look at that mineral value killed. Mmm, Chef's Kiss. Mmm. These are the best units in the game, boys, when it comes to synergy. And you have some in the front line for you. Oh my god. If you guys enjoyed this game, be sure to leave a like. Until next time, I'll see you guys later. <laughs> the tires let's light some fires Need a light. they picked the wrong fight <laughs>